What's up? This is Austin Saylor, and today I'm going to show you how to properly set up your Illustrator files for importing and animating in After Effects. First, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Daniel, Mr. West Coast, Mr. High Pulp Studio. He has some incredible lettering work. Check him out, highpulp.com or High Pulp Studio on Instagram. His work is incredible. All right, let's get into it. Here's how you're going to want to set up your Illustrator files for After Effects. Uh, first thing you need to know is separate everything into its own layer. So I've got three shapes here, but they're all in one layer. So I'm going to want to cut, create a new layer, uh, paste in place, Command F, cut another shape, create a new layer, paste in place. Now I've got three layers. And that works when you only have three layers like this. But what if you have a file like this, where you've got tons of layers, tons of shapes, but you know, you're starting out with everything on the same layer. You don't want to be cutting, pasting. So here's a quick way to separate everything onto its own layer. Make sure that everything is not grouped. If everything is grouped, this won't work. So, Select your shapes and ungroup them and then make sure the layer that everything's on is selected. Hit the hamburger button and release two layers. Wow. So this isn't quite it. Got to do one more thing. Drag these out so that they are no longer kind of grouped under that original layer. Delete that original one because there's nothing left on there. And now you've got everything separated and it's beautiful. It's all you need. Now you don't want everything just layered layer one, layer two, whatever. So you can go in here and go a, a two. And that is one way to do it. But when you have a ton of layers like this, I'm going to show you a really quick way in after effects that, uh, I think is a lot easier to label your layers. So here we are in After Effects, and I'm going to import that Illustrator file, set it to composition layer size. I like to take these layers and put them into a new comp, which I've already created. The settings aren't super important for this demonstration, but I'll just show you here. Pause if you need to take a look. Regular 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. Nothing crazy. And now I'll paste all of those layers into that composition, drag them out here to the middle. And here's a little tip if you didn't know. If you hit Command K, you can change the background color of the composition. Woohoo! All right, now we want to label these layers. Uh, this is what I was going to show you that's super fast or uh, easier than an Illustrator. So when you have a layer selected, if you hit Enter or Return, it lets you rename. So, well, this one's already A, that's fine. And now if you hit Command down, it goes down one layer, hit Enter, A2, perfect. And on and on and on it goes. This is a lot easier than Illustrator. I definitely prefer doing this. The only downside to this is if you're handing off to another animator, it's kind of like, uh, you want to give them a layer uh, illustrator file that's already labeled. So you can't really do this, but I think 90% of the time, most of us are designing for ourselves. So this method works perfectly. See how fast this is. And I can do it while I'm talking. I don't think I'm messing up too much. Pretty cool. All right. So you get the point. That is how you can quickly separate all your, uh, all of your shapes into different layers in Illustrator, import them into After Effects, and then rename them using After Effects uh, and its, I think, superior labeling so keyboard shortcuts. Another question I get a lot is, how do you copy and paste shapes from Illustrator into After Effects? So I'll give you a little demonstration. You know, sometimes we prefer to just draw things in Illustrator because it's what you're comfortable with. Um, so I'll just draw a shape that I personally think is easier to do in, whoops, in Illustrator. Uh, I don't know, something like 
using this rounded corner tool quickly uh, merge paths uh, in Illustrator is a lot simpler makes more sense all right so I'm getting this weird shape and let's say this is like exactly what I need in my project but you know it's the only shape that I need to bring into After Effects so I don't necessarily want a whole new Illustrator file but I do need this shape in After Effects so click A to bring up the direct select tool copy the paths go into After Effects in After Effects, you can't just paste the shape into a composition. You need a shape layer. So right click, new, shape layer, or you can go layer, new, shape layer. And then you also need to draw a shape. So it can be a shape like this, or Command Z. It can be a shape drawn with a pen tool. But now what you gotta do is select this path, and we've already copied the shape from in here. So we just click the path and paste. Command V to paste. And now you've got that shape. And in here, you can do the same thing. You can grab the points and you can move them down, move them around. And here's a little secret, uh, or not secret, just a nice keyboard shortcut. Command F is find, type out path. Whoops, not patch, path. And it brings up, shows you the path. Now you can animate this path. So you can animate these vector points. It's really nice. Uh, hit the time, the stopwatch to give you your first keyframe. Go forward a little bit. And now you can move these. I'm hitting shift so that it goes straight down. And now you just see this little thing animate. And you can do all sorts of cool stuff with that. But that's how you copy and paste paths from Illustrator and After Effects. Super helpful. If you're, especially if you're doing just like one quick one-off shape that you don't want to have to draw inside of After Effects. Now, one thing you need to know about Illustrator when you're setting up stuff for After Effects is you can only use one artboard. Illustrator has a sweet feature of being able to use multiple artboards but if you tried to import something like this, all you would get is the first artboard. So unfortunately, After Effects doesn't you know, recognize different artboards, and that's fine. You just have to separate them out into separate Illustrator files. Just don't forget one artboard only. All right, I need to show you one more thing that you need to be careful with when you're dealing with Illustrator files and After Effects. You're not gonna wanna mess with your Illustrator files too much. Changing color is fine and changing some shapes inside of the uh, bounding box of your uh, shapes is fine, but you can go, you're gonna get some funky results if you change the shapes too much. So for demonstration purposes, let me import this Illustrator file as composition and layer size. Remember, that's what you're gonna wanna do 90% of the time. Um, Command K to change the background color of the composition so we can see these letters. All right, I'm gonna do a quick animation. So if I change something like the position and the rotation, let's pull this out here a little bit, I'll zoom in. Let's say we want the position to start off screen and the rotation to be like this. And it comes in, boom, beautiful. We'll change these to ease so it's even more beautiful. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right, so there's a smooth, simple animation. And you know, if we're like, all right, this color, uh, black's just not doing it for me. And you end up changing the color to this gorgeous salmon. It updates in, uh, it updates in After Effects, which is great. But what you're going to have to be careful with, which I mentioned earlier, this is what happens when you do too much. So what if you're like this salmon color part of the art? Boy, I want to make this big, big old salmon thing. It's not pretty, but let's pretend it is. Oh, it didn't do the same thing. Look, I made the thing go bigger to the top right, but in After Effects, why didn't it do that? Well, that's because... 
After Effects handles things by, the, by, by way of Anchor Point. And the Anchor Point basically just says like, everything needs to be centered around this guy. Um, so you're not, this is why I don't want you to mess with your Illustrator files too much because you're gonna mess up the results of this. And then if you try to like move it, you know, you have to like figure out exactly where it was. And then that messes up the other one, which you then you have to move that one. And you know, it can work out, but imagine this being a complicated animation with lots of moving parts, it's gonna be a headache. So here's what you can do. If you want to just update things in After Effects and not have to worry about that kind of headache, let me undo here and undo in Illustrator. It'll update back here. Cool, we're back to where we were. Here's something that you can do to change the shape inside of After Effects. Right click the Illustrator layer in After Effects and create shapes from vector layer. This is a pretty cool feature that lets you get a new shape layer the same way you have like new shape layer and we copy and pasted the path from Illustrator into After Effects. This creates the same kind of layer. And from here you can go into the path just like in uh, Illustrator and make this guy a big old salmon thing. And now your animation is still going to be right. It's going to be smooth. Now what you lose here is that this is no longer linked to your Illustrator file. See if we change this to gray and come back in here, this won't update anymore. It will update that Illustrator file, but if you've modified things and want a new shape, this one won't get updated. So you lose that connection, but you can change shapes and whatnot. So little, little trade off, but it is kind of nice to have that option. All right, that about does it for this tutorial. Uh, to recap, put everything on its own layer, name them. Uh, in Illustrator, you can do the release to layers. Use composition retain layer size 99% of the time when you're importing Illustrator files. You've got that speed boost in After Effects, naming layers faster. You can copy and paste vector paths from Illustrator into After Effects by creating a new shape layer in After Effects, creating a shape, copying the shape from Illustrator into the path. Remember to only use one artboard in Illustrator and don't mess with your Illustrator files too much. Change the colors and internal shapes, but nothing that would change the outside bounding box. All right, that is all you really need to know to get going with Illustrator files in After Effects. Hope that's helpful. Hit me up if you've got any questions. Have a good one. If you haven't already, sign up at letteringanimation.com to get some free stuff that's going to get you going with lettering animation. Go make something move. Have a good one.